In this video, you will learn how to use the PICO 70 cell fill syringe to minimize pre-analytical errors. Make sure you are wearing gloves. Open the blister pack. The blister pack contains a syringe with a pre-heparinized electrolyte balanced brick, a needle, a needle shaft, a blue cube, and a tip cap. Preset the syringe to the blood volume required. Expose the needle shaft by holding on to the syringe barrel with one hand and pulling the needle sheath straight off with the other hand without twisting. Immediately after you have taken the blood gas sample, prepare the sample for expulsion of air and mixing. Remove the needle by placing it downward on the blue cube, which should be placed on a flat surface. Discard the needle and cube into a sharps container. Visually inspect the sample for air bubbles. Dislodge any bubbles by gently tapping the sides of the syringe right after sampling. Take a piece of gauze and gently press the plunger to ventilate the sample and excel excessive air bubbles onto the gauze before placing the tip cap onto the lure of the syringe. After expelling air bubbles, mix the sample to dissolve the heparin. Mix the sample by inverting it several times. Do not shake the sample vigorously, as this can result in hemolysis. Make sure the syringe has a patient identification label attached to it before you leave the patient. Always follow your hospital's procedure on patient identification. Analyze the sample immediately or stored at room temperature and measure the sample within 30 minutes. Repeat the mixing procedure prior to analysis. Remove the tip cap before analysis. You have now seen how to use the Pico 70 self-fill.